I first started playing football when I was in eighth grade because um, my friends were all playing, so I wanted to go hang out with them. And they put me at running back. So I played running back and I started scoring all these touchdowns. I was like, man, I started, you know, I started falling in love with this game. I used to carry the football when I was a running back at junior high with one hand like um, Walter Paint used to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> McNabb back, no pressure. Deep middle intercepted by Dan Wynn all the way up to the 45 yard line. Throws it over the middle, hit, intercepted at the 40 yard line. Wynn on a crazy bounce. At a small school like we had, we only had about maybe 30 guys out for the team. So uh, you had to play both ways and you had to play specialties. So uh, I was doing all the kicking chores. I had a punt, field goal, and I did kick uh, off as well. Plus, played linebacker and fullback. So I was um, versatile. He's still pushing and turning. He's still moving to the one and gets knocked sideways by Dan Wynn, short of the goal line. When Dan hits somebody, it's unreal. It's just totally awesome. We played at a little school over here called Taft. They had a uh, tailback run out on a little flare pass and that hit him. And it was like one of these cartoons that you see where, where he hits and this guy flies. Most people don't have that type of collision when they when they play the game. He has something that makes that happen. The game that meant the most was against the Taft High School. They hand the ball off and I dove over the offensive line and it was a forced fumble. And one of our safety picked it up and ran for 95 yards and scored. And we came back and beat them and won the district that year. That was about 5'11". 40 my senior year in high school and some of the offensive line was about 220 230 so i was so much bigger than those guys a lot of baby fat, a lot of fat <laughs> i need a genie craig oh you better get some genie craig yeah. you better out. get some genie craig baby we call that fat dad uh mup which is fat in vietnamese he was always too fat and slow to start with <laughs> First time I saw Dad, um, he's overweight, and I just assumed he was a punter. I didn't figure a Vietnamese guy could come in here and play linebacker, but you know, once I got to know the guy, it was pretty, pretty evident, pretty quick that he was a linebacker. The guy out there is just—he's a blur. It looks like he's going to fast forward, and everyone else is going at regular speed. When I get older, I'm going to sit back and think, hey, look at that guy running around. <laughs> that used to be me. 